Hi, next we're going to show you how to import your email contacts into your Gmail account. So I'm not going to show you how to export them from your current account because that's going to vary depending on what you're using. So if you're using Outlook or some other email client, you'll have to figure out how to export them. But what you want to do is you want to export them as a CSV if possible. And you can also um, use vCard files to import into Gmail as well. So I have this exported contacts CSV file that has 50 contacts in it. And so I'm going to import these into my Gmail account, and we'll see how that works. So I'm going to go into Gmail, go into my contacts right here, and you can see I have these contacts right now, and this one here is a duplicate that I have in that list, so we're going to see what happens when you import a duplicate. So I'm going to click on this button here to uh, open in a new tab. Now this shows all my contacts here. And so then right here you have an import option. Click on that. And see how it says you could use a CSV or vCard file. So we're going to select the file and take the one off the desktop here. So my export of contacts.csv. Now you could give all these uh, contacts a label. So it'll label them all once you import them. If you don't, I'll show you what happens because we're not going to put a label. So we're just going to click on import. So it's importing the export of contacts file. So now you can see it made its own label called imported with today's date. So everybody under here is going to be imported on today. So if I have I have this other group that just has these gold club members, and I have all the ones that are the 50 of them that are imported here, and then I have my all my contacts, which is 56 now because I had the six before, and I just added 50. So that's done. So what you want to do if you want to get rid of this label, you could either edit this label by clicking on rename to something else or you could trash this label and what that'll do you could keep all the contacts and delete this label or delete all the contacts and the labels. So we want to keep the contacts but we don't like this label we don't need a label on it so we're just going to click on this top option click on delete so now everybody is up here the 56 and we still have this one gold club members that we had from before and now you can see what it did it made a duplicate for this uh, one that we already had before, you know, the same name and the same uh, Gmail address. Sometimes you'll get an option under merge and fix if there's um, the same name with different information, then you could come here and kind of merge them into one name, but these were completely identical, so I'll need to go here and then just click on the delete option and delete. Okay, so now I have all my uh, email contacts imported into Gmail. Now there's one other thing you might have seen if you go to the settings. Actually, I got to go back into Gmail first, then go to the settings. See all settings. And now there's a an account and import option here. And there's import mail and contacts, but this will import your email and your contacts. So if you want just the contacts, you're going to have to do the other way. Otherwise, this one will do your uh, email and your contacts. So if you click on that, you have to put in the name of your um, your email address from your other client and go through the thing for that, and then it'll mix it all in with your Gmail email, which you probably don't want. So, like I said, just find out how you could export them as a CSV file. Go to your contacts, open a new tab, click on the import button, select the file, and then you'll be good to go. And then just decide if you want to label them, or otherwise it's going to make its own label, and then you can just delete the label here. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.